Manchester United 0, Arsenal 1. I love it. I love it. Now, the pressure is back to Manchester City. They play on Tuesday or Wednesday before they play the final game on Sunday. I love the fact that we got the priority right. For those of you complaining, we're not that expansive. We're not exciting. We didn't score a few more goals. We're not aesthetically pleasing. You are in... Mm, let, me, let, me, let me dial it down a little bit. Let me dial it down. But, but like, what is wrong with some of you fans? I, I, I see objectively, we're not aesthetically pleasing to watch. It was too pragmatic. I agree. But what was priority? The priority today was to win. Like the hypocrisy of some of you. Some of you were Lordy Moreno those days, winning 1 0, being boring and overly pragmatic. You said the main objective was to win. Now, Arteta knows how to balance the expansive football, the aesthetically pleasing, the exhilarating fast pace. Then sometimes, he gives you the boring stuff. Deal with it. I will understand your complaint. If for out of 38 games, we're playing 30 games like this. I understand. But come on. Out of 38 games, if you, if you play five games like this, what is the problem? We've been fed over 25 games with aesthetically pleasing football, creative football, scoring goals for, for, for fun, passing, easy on the eye, enjoyable stuff. But sometimes, based on... That as a context is important based on we're on a title race. We know Manchester United were not going to be let themselves be embarrassed because they've been embarrassed on Monday by Crystal Palace. You think Manchester United wouldn't allow them, themselves, open up themselves to be embarrassed? You know that. Say Manchester United twice pip Liverpool. You should understand the context is we're in a title race, the context that we must not lose or draw, the context that we had to get a win, and that is priority. Any other thing like we wanted a Free flowing football, aesthetically pleasing football is secondary. I rather take this pragmatic, boring football for one game out of all the games of play in a title race than be aesthetically pleasing and draw the game or lose the game. Apply context and be, and be sensible. I've lost my mind. I didn't even do the usual intro. I didn't even do the usual protocol. Let, 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 let's get back to it. Guys, it's very, very important. You strike a like on the video. Very, very important. Strike a like on the video. Subscribe, yet subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Let me remind so that's like no 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 let me repeat myself one more time for those who didn't hear me the first time or those at the back like the video the thumbs up button subscribe yet subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell very very important so for me the result is the most important any other thing in the secondary we got the result was he great on the eye no was it boring yes it was boring was it hard watch exactly I agree but did we get the result the priority Yes, the result for me is priority, not just go there and entertain uh, the, 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 the fans of other clubs or entertain our fans as an Arsenal fan. It's so sick that some of you on Twitter are saying, We didn't play that greatly, we didn't, we, we should have scored more goals. This is the poorest man you, yes, it's the poorest man you in context, but don't forget. They were not going to let themselves be embarrassed, especially if they've been embarrassed early on by Crystal Palace, especially playing their last home game. I've I've loved us to embarrass them. I've loved us to to avenge the A2, but there's time and place for everything. Today was about getting the result, and I love the fact that Ateta knows how to prep his team. When it's time to go aesthetically pleasing and be expansive, you do that. When it's time to be pragmatic and sensible, because you have to be sensible. I've seen Pep being sensible, nobody criticizing. You don't see Man City fans criticizing Pep when they get a one new victory and they are being sensible. But Arsenal fans are going to go over the board. Virtue signal to the whole world. We should have played better because you don't go on idiotic panels to argue a stupid point. The most important thing today, the priority was to get the victory, get the win. Any other thing is secondary. I would not, I'm not, I'm sure. See, most of you are so hypocritical that if we played expansive football and ended 4 4, you will see criticize that setter. That's how hypocritical and idiotic some of you are. Most of you are just insatiable. You have. A dysfunctional mindset. Nothing pleases you. You have to find something to complain. You have to just look for something to come all the time. What is wrong with some of you? Look on the bright side. The title race has not ended. I understand it's the advantage of Man City. I understand the sports fans are saying they will deliberately lose. For sports fans, Tottenham Hotspur fans can say whatever they want to say. They aren't going to be on the pitch. They're not the players. They're not Posta Koglu. I don't believe that Posta Koglu. We encourage the players to lose. They have professional pride. 
and I'm sure they understand that there's money attached to qualification of the Champions League. So the fans can say whatever they want to say. It's, it's a prerogative. But I expect, and I suppose, the manager will never encourage his players to lose. Because once you start that, how do you turn it off? Oh, we're going to encourage them to lose, but next I'm going to encourage them to win. How do you turn it off? It doesn't work that way. Hmm? It doesn't work that way. It's so pathetic that fans can be more focused. You are so more focused on us now than being focused on your team. So, Trussard scoring the solitary goal for us at Old Trafford in the first half. And we find we find a way to just know, laboriously, just bore out the game and bore out the game. Yeah, man, you huffed and puffed. Genacho huffed and puffed. Hoyland huffed and puffed. But guess what? We got the results. Shout out to Saliba. Saliba getting the man of the match. How good is William? How fantastic is William Saliba? Man of the match at Anfield. Man of the match at Etihad. Man of the match at Ultra Trafford. This guy is generational. Truly. This guy, last year people say, oh, maybe it was a flu. season. Let's see if I can repeat it. Now nah, he has repeated it and he has stayed fit for 37 Premier League games. Playing, playing the last one against Everton on so they will make him playing all our matches this season, 38 games. What a player. Quality, availability, durability. Give it to William Soliba. He's a solid, solid player. Solid player. Surprise. Why should I say I'm surprised? I'm surprised would it be the Premier League, but somehow omitted Soliba and put Van Dyke as part of the player of the year. I, how, how ironic. Even though Soliba and, and Gabriel have kept the most clean sheets than Liverpool and Van Dyke, somehow Van Dyke makes it. Hmm. It shows the credibility. It shows a lot of the credibility of the Premier League board. Very, very interesting. So, guys, good victory. No, not the eye candy we're expecting. Not the goal first. Some of you were expecting. I was expecting, but I predicted 30 0 I was expecting to score a few more goals. But I understand. I understand that things can change. And the fact that we got the victory for me, the priority was to win. Go on. If you watch my preview, I said it. The priority is to win any other thing in the secondary. And guess what? We got the priority. Any other thing in the secondary. Even though we get second secondary, quote unquote achievement, some of us wanted us to get. Hey, we, we keep it moving. Hopefully, sports can do us a favor or West Ham can actually do us a favor on Sunday. So, I'm happy. Let me know what you think about this victory in the comment section. Are you excited? Are you disappointed we just got a few more goals or we didn't play well? Let me know your opinion and your feelings in the comment section. On your way out, be kind enough. One more time, strike the like button. Uh, subscribe. You hit subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notification bell. One more time. Let me repeat it again for emphasis. Strike the like button. Subscribe. Yet, subscribe. And make sure you turn on your notification bell and i will see you guys later probably i'll do a live uh preview of the whole of the whole match um maybe i'll, I'll be able to bring in mr fosa to do the, the live uh, preview so make sure you like the video subscribe turn on notification bell and i'll see you guys on the next one bye for now <laughs>